know the truth and all of freedom and your actual rights to be free to see the truth. And I understand that you forgive him, Father, for you do not know what you do. And I forgive you for that. <clears throat> as I've forgiven myself and everybody in this world for all the things as I see now and see truth. Um, I've always been ethically, morally sound. The ride or die that. Everywhere I went, every friend, I've always called them on everything because I've always been looking for that ride or die. I've always... One of my intentions here, my, my sole purpose, is actually to ride or die the complete change of all humanity. As my girlfriend Tracy yeah, it's really sad to me. She's like, you know, if we were already, if we if we fit in, if we were, you know, amongst it, if it was, it wasn't a hard path to walk and hard and hard to be within all the people that were not like us, then our purpose would not be a good purpose. Our sole purpose would not be to be here to change the world, to, to bring you, to be people to acceptance and true love. And, and uh, accountability for, you know, and accountability was right or die. Like, when I, when my, my friends, when I call them on their shit, like, I'll call myself on myself. Like, you know, I'll say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm being fucking annoying, or, I'm, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I, no, no, it's okay. No, it's no, it's not okay, because if you allow that to be okay, just because like me, well, then I can take advantage of it, and then that becomes a game, and it's untrue, and it's not real, and it's definitely probably against the ten morals, the ten ethical, the ten commandments. And uh, so I call myself, and I call other people around, too. And people don't like it, you know, I lose a lot of friends. I don't really lose them, I, they just, it, it, see, they're my path touching their path allows their path transcendence, no matter what, because um, a mystic shaman, a mystical person, or a Jesus, a rebellious person would always evade the, evade and keep the freedom. Freedom is everything to you. Freedom is your divine right, it's your birthright, it's your it's sovereignty. It is <laughs> mine, therefore, <I'm clears throat> the people that can enforce it and, and watch it and, and kind of evade, that's, uh, that's what a mystic or a magician would do, a shaman. And so it's within me always. Um, where I'm going with this? Uh, anyways, like I said, the truth. We started with Joe Rogan's kind of, we, we, <laughs> oh, sorry Joe, I hope you're still listening though. Um, the innovative spin is we need to just become one and stop putting our word on something that we can no longer actually put our whole life on to if it was done to us. Okay, so trust me, you cops, a lot of the people that are doing these things and you know, the politicians, the politicians that are elected, you're not, you guys are representatives, okay? You are nothing. And I really need you to know this. Justin Trudeau, when you see this video, and I hope you do, somebody send it to me. Everybody cycle this shit because these people need to know. Trump, you need, I need to know, and the world needs to know that Trump, the only reason you're conditioned by the elite that owns all the companies, they own everything you watch, by the way. Mainstream media, unless you research and you look for the people that are telling the truth, like I'm telling you, you're not getting truth. You're getting a fed story, okay? Trump stood up and he's put his, he put his life and he's put his family on the line, uh, you know? For your humanity to show you the freedom he's tried to tell you about light that your light and frequency and light bring light into the hospitals like is it because it can cure us light can cure us as we are frequency so can sound binaural beats and HD frequencies look them up you can resonate with sounds to your body that then vibrate it and put it back into alignment like cancer is everything the light and the frequencies and everything is everything it's because just because we see in 3d and everything is a physical it is still of a frequency everything is the four walls around us, all the objects, the materialistics, they're all different frequencies, and we are, and this is why we can, crystals and stuff and plants, we can, we can send energy with them, we flow, our energy, our energy body, that is of the different realm, is within all the realms, right? Just because we see physical, we also have the astral body here, and it is attached and flowing, and it is bringing in just what you cannot see, or uh, you know, you can't see it with your eyes, but if you really, really pay attention and you tune in yourself with who you really are, within your body, the energy, the soul, and you realize your body, and the difference in your mind and your body and your soul, I am not the body, I am not the mind, but I am the soul, you can start to realize all the ways we can actually, uh, uh, we work, our bodies work as um, uh, alchemy and stuff. We need to look up alchemy, alchemy is really important alchemy and biology and, and just knowing yourself and paying attention, log yourself. I uh, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh from the Republic, uh, Republican, I, I don't believe in a side either. I think we should all be unity and, and work for the one greater good. So it should not be of an election. Uh, it should be all the people. <clears throat> Fundamentally, we have the technology. This is the technology where we're going to imprint and all of civilization is what we need is some format of all people, all of us having to be able to, and being able to speak. All of us being heard, all of us, in some way, without corruption, 
and and you know and, and maybe it's not just a technology but maybe fundamentally that should be a priority you know all of us are in communities getting together for these electoral of the all the debates and then stuff you know us making time for it like if each town put in like a speaker system in an outdoor audit like an outdoor auditorium where we could all be in one with god and nature not with behind four walls and all together as unity everyone all the kids of all ages as we're not divided we're not divided like malcolm x divided you know divided the young and the old no we need the young and the old to bring in all of what i'm telling you throughout historical you know what you don't what you can't do your grandparents can and what you can't do your kids can like the kids are smarter nowadays for a reason guys because what they are they're they don't pick up our slack we are going to work together as one unity you know the greater good and we are all fundamentally at every age and every now all of us are part of this puzzle not one lower than the other we are all of it and if we put it all together if we use all of our minds and we put it all together we don't need to keep creating to wrecking the world to needing and wanting. We have been given everything. And we are so, like Sadhguru says, we are the epitome of having everything. We are the most blessed and most gifted. We are spoiled. We are spoiled rotten little brown noses, okay? Brown nose in the rat race. So we need to stop brown in the rat race. And just go back to divine. Find yourself. Follow your heart and truth. Don't, you know, no more locking on to other people, you know, just look out into the world and view things and start observing life. The colors, when we look into colors, they heal our bodies, they, you know, we actually, they are part of our chakras, our energy, soul bodies, you know, colors, frequencies, everything. We can heal ourselves with anything that is, like the rainbow, think about the rainbow, the light and the frequency of the rainbow, the rainbow is your colors. Okay, um, this guy told me, he's like, oh, I did shrooms once and I seen this rainbow and I almost stepped off a building there because I wanted to go to the rainbow so badly. And I was like, ah, he's like, no, I'll never do it again. I was like, he's like, there, no, I was like, no, you're not getting it. Is it because you did it, you went into it thinking it's an, uh, you, you didn't realize that we and the plants and the, everything here on Mother Earth is all one, right? So we're here for the greater good as well as the plants, right? You know, I and mean, mushrooms and plants are older than us. They're like species, they're aliens from... You know, spores that came into this world and they, the mycelium run in the crystals within this earth. Wow, you know? Okay, we're just a little piece of that. Our body's a little piece of made up all of it. And uh, soul is, it's our transportation vessel for our soul, which is why, you know, we knew this in our first scriptures before they made the Bible and made a church and made the religion and made law with the religion and the, of course, the conditioning of everything the Vatican and the 666 and behind the Vatican and the dragons within it. All of the corruption of anybody on a social ladder that we built a fucking, that created it, that is a part of creation of it, knowing the corruption of it. And we know you, who you are, okay? You know who we are too. I know, you know, I mean, a lot of my friends we talk, you know, the we awaken. We know that we're on Facebook and all this YouTube where they're owned by the elite. We know that you are stopping our feeds from being seen on people's news. News, you know, if you go on a news feed, you know, all the people that are telling the truth, you want to look for them because they're the Facebook and everything is actually conditioning. They, they've got it set so that if they know I'm telling the truth, they find for one, they're all fact checker all over my place. And they, even if a picture, you take a picture and then they can fact check. It's literally a box. You can take a picture of a box of the mask that says there's actual instruction on the, on the box. It's a picture of the box. It's of truth, dude. It's a box. It's a picture of it. And it was in front of the picture taken of the box. Not manipulated and put on there and they said fact checker no this is false no it isn't false you're just trying to lie to the people so you can fucking keep making money off of your fucking indoctrined lies your lies 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 and you're doing it to them you're corruption justin trudeau you you need to go you need to as trump says you're fired i love saying that i know i just remember that i'm gonna say it again but whatever it's so true you're fired justin and the people of canada i can guarantee you we all we all no matter of our what we want to culture and live by we fundamentally and ethically and morally have pride within ourselves for all of unity and, and humanity. And we are sick of being conditioned and separated and hateful. We are sick of being stressed and feeling like we need your love. No, we love each other. We don't need your love, the government. We are the government, okay? An electoral government. When they strip you of your rights, which they're conditioning you, just like George Carlin said, they've, they've made this, built this uh, list of conditioned rights and freedoms that they think they that you believe you have but see we are free and sovereign in all of the world there's no if i took out a piece of paper and drew the world in a circle and i dot 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 it and i built my own map and, I, and then i this is fucking this right here this is john's land this is john's island and because i drew it and i created it look it's real no it's not okay 
nothing that was ever written and drawn out in an imaginatory word or the design or, or the, you know what I mean, drawing over if I took over and, it does not make it real, guys. If somebody told you there's a border there and put a word on it and a name and, and gave you a law and a rule, it's not real, okay? So when we go back to the court of law in all anything, for one, word, word, I don't, I've never met word that I'm bound to, okay? This word that you say I'm bound to, this name that I'm saying that you corrupted onto me, for one, I'm taking that out. Whoever the human rights were lawyers, this is, I want this vibe, please circle this to everybody because this is fundamentally this video right here, this truth, I'm telling you, in the directions that I'd say, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna continue what I'd say every day. These are fundamentally all for the greater good for humanity, for the freedom, for what Jimi Hendrix CD, the, 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 the first rays of the new rising sun, okay? That first song on that was freedom, baby. Freedom. Hey, baby. It's funny I say baby all the time. I'm going to have the song. Hey, baby. And I'm spinning it. We need to share and spin and spread this love, the awareness, the truth. We need to spin it and spread it, just like Jimi Hendrix says in that song, man. Like, this is the universe of the divine plan. This isn't me and you, and it's, it's us. As, like, I realized most of my life, just growing up in the movies and, and, and we own a video store and, and being on the street and seeing all the rise in the house. Like, I've been with the riches, I've been with the poorest, and you know what I mean? I've chosen. <coughs> <coughs> I too, and I've seen, I've gone through everything. Like I said, every part of the system has ripped me apart. The, to the doctors, to the, to the medical, to the to the children's aid taking me out of my phone, on my home, like perfectly fucking, we built our own baby. Totally good fucking upbringing. Like, my mom is a hard worker, good woman. She's a social butterfly. You know, she, when she left home, she wasn't coming home until midnight. Oh, God forbid, a couple hours by ourselves. We already knew how to take care of ourselves as kids. We were taught proper. We were taught what was skillfully needed to to survive. Like, to be, to be not dependent. To be independent. To be independent completely. And we all need independence to know. And not that we need independence from unity. We just need independence to know, to follow how to, how to be us, to know ourselves, to know our body, to learn this vessel, to, to learn of our soul path and our connection and find what, what we stand for as a person completely, our actual word, our actual word is our, it's our desire and our knowing, our knowledge of intention. Our intentions that we put up to the universe need to be completely aware of truth and of knowledge of the real truth. Otherwise, we are... We are creating and being manipulated to create the manifestation of the doom of this world. They know it. They know that we hold the power of manifesting the future by what we believe in our minds and what we create, as we are the creators of everything on this world, this planet. And if we're manipulated to create what we think we think we need, think we're here for, we're corrupted, we're brainwashed, and we need to emancipate that shit. We need to free our minds. Get rid of all the mind games, get rid of all the corruption. Too bad for you guys. Your money's not going to rule the world anymore. Love and peace and harmony is going to rule the world. And the planets and the sun and the stars. And the stars are going to shine. See, we have the ability to change these stars. Because we are the creators. We are the godly, conscious being. And we are of the conscious divine. As the energy. The energy and the light, the frequency, the energy is what is consciousness the creation of all that is created so therefore the everything within this consecration everything that is is of a creator there is a creator it is the divine and it's within all the energy we are part of it and we are so happy i do like it really so happy start it's the only thing that we're here for is to ascend our soul and become to become the best us, to, we put ourselves and checked us into this life with all these, knowing that we were going to hit these every drop and every high, every drop, every low. We knew it. We, then we just forgot it when we came here, like, and, uh, and to actually live it and to, without, without knowing it, to live it, to relive it, to become it, to learn it, to, to know what we stand for, our work. And uh, that really needs to be our goal for all of unity is to, even with creation, Joe Rogan and Brett, with the creation of all of our materialistic things, they need to be of all of our word. And as we are all one, the one word that stands for the greater good needs to be able to be harnessed for all creation. Therefore, we can then sit back. We can assess the situation as we don't need for all these kids, all that, like, you know, I mean, you know, we all want the perfect family now because we have multiple universes. And, you know, you used to have 10 kids in your last life. Now you have five. And, 
I don't know, Benji. You just want one of these lifetimes. You should probably just be single. One you should be, you know, a dog. One should be like live free. One should be of the marital status, and one should be of not me. I mean, not marital. Cause I don't believe in an, an actual a paper and a word to tell you that you're committed. I believe that if you love and you stand by it, it don't matter. You stand by it, and they can punch you in the face. <laughs> like Ashley, <laughs> I love you, uh, and you can still understand that you ride or die together. Together you stand, divided you fall. Even through every little speed bump, we are together. Even if those speed bumps were corrupted onto us and into our minds, we need to redirect, redirect our energy. All the negative energy we feel onto other people because we've been directed to think of looking onto them as their color, their person, what they look like, are they, who they are, where they stand, or those are all fake. It's imaginatory. It's the book. If that's the book. Like what you have been forced to believe is a reality of this economic, this, this, this evolution of economic. And no, it's not. That's not evolving. Evolving would only, and the only evolving is going to come from us standing together to understand that we are one, as our soul within these bodies is of the one on just energy. We are all one, no matter what. Just like, you know, the one for all, all for one kind of deal. <laughs> it all makes sense. Where we go one, we go all, as we are all the one energy. We are all, we are all one. Um, the only... There's nothing that doesn't connect me from you, as we just can't see the air and the frequency between us. My energy soul blends to the energy within the air, the all of the everything essence of the life, the energy of anything, and all of that is, is that it is, was, and ever will be. And my soul is attached to it, and it is it. It is the energy, is the energy outside here, that, and to you. We are all one, we are attached. You know, although we think that there's empty space, there really, really isn't as the energy confines and conforms. The energy is everything, and it's only perceived uh, there or not there, but to have one, you have to have the other, right? Kind of do there or there, whatever. There's the world that's so below, but there's nothing. There's no empty, there's no emptiness, as it's always just filled with what you cannot see. Therefore, the tree that falls in the woods, did somebody hear it or not hear it? The sound, did it make sound? Yeah, of course it did. It vibrated through every dimension. It heard itself. And the trees that you just can't perceive in your eyes or you can't see. And we can if you open your eye and you actually, you actually determined it. You'll understand what I'm saying. That the, 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 your, your brain, some visions and stuff and thoughts and all these things that you think you do with your ego, you think, ah, I did it. You, know, you can still have an ego. We're going to have to because we're conditioned into it. It makes us separate too. You know, our, our individuality and our unity, our individuality of our unity within our universe of our multiverse of universe it's quite cool we are so multi-dimensional it's so cool and um and so you'll actually know you can talk plants so the, the, the tree in the woods of course everything heard it is if, if you were just closing your eyes not using the five senses you're conditioned to use the only ones that you're told you to have but intuitions are your those are your soul buddies you know your guardian angels telling you no don't they're kicking you in the goods you know you know yourself and when you get that little clink you know, and constant like constant words that keep coming constant reminders that's not you buddy it's you oh yeah, oh yeah i should i should i should i should no it's you being told repetitive shit is your angels telling you. they can put divisions in your head like the visions that you okay so things that happened to you that came to you that all through your life you'll never forget them like word for word as i can tell you my stories and visions throughout my whole life they all came back to me in a flow of like my own movie Boom, 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 holy shoot, my click, click, clicks, uh, my divine path, my celestial path, you know, see if you pick up these books and run through these movies, just uh, ebook this stuff and just listen to it for a day or two, this shit, you'll, you'll see what I see, it only took me like about six weeks to understand and know that when I was in cognitive dissonance, that no, I'm not the one, I, because I woke up, like, completely, I, I knew as true as true as me, like, boom, I said enlightenment, as I put my word, I put my life out for and so, Guru, I want you to hear this, because I just heard today, because uh, Inner Management, you offered it in July or something, I think, for those who put the, did everything, but they didn't do anything, they didn't know that, they didn't, they weren't doing it for themselves. And that's, uh, I've thought about it, and I need, you know, I need a mentor, I need a, I want to go further with my divination, I want it to be complete, I, and I know it's never ending, but it is my complete and utter passion, I devote my complete life to it. And, uh, and, uh, and so, yeah, I know you offered inner management for those who could give you a story to who did something that wasn't for themselves. And, uh, and I, it, I resonate. And this is my, my um, you know, looking down on myself and not being, not being able to share my ego. 
and so it's looked down on or something, you know, that's how I, when I'm, when I'm in the mirror as a kid, I was told I was here for the changing of the world, changing of the earth, I, that's what my life was. Um, I, I beat it out of my head, in my head, as I, I could hear everybody telling me, oh, don't be so sorry, don't be so selfish, don't be so, you're so conceited, you know, you're not like that, you're just, so I beat it out of my head, and I totally, you know, all these things that I forgot until I fucking went through waking in the day, that I, I literally put my life out, because as I knew when I stopped tracks, and my dead tracks, and I was yelling at my friends, you know, that it, forgiving me, but I didn't, and I it wasn't mad when I ever read my body, like, I never went into a church, I could never start from church, I've always followed my heart, really, and did what was right, the right or died, and ethic morals, and, and, um, I, I, that's it, you know, you stand, you stand, you stand for what you believe in, and what you know to be true within your existence and your perception, not what is told to you, but what you know, and, um, and so, um, so I that back to you, um, I, the day that I yelled at Joe, then my friend that has passed away, and God bless you all, and I made him believe. I, you know, my, him watching my transcendence and, and my awakening, and he was such a guy, no, no, but he has so sad his ways, and I, you know, I'm like, I don't care, I, I'm, I'll be back next day, I'll knock on your door, and I don't know call first either, I just show up. <laughs> I'm still that girl, I show up because I know what I mean, I don't want to just show up at my door. But, you know, I like, I neighbor, I be a lovely neighbor kind of deal, I don't perceive it in any way as, as a, I was like, oh no, you should do this. He said, oh, I should call. No, no, if you love me and show up, I, mean, I, I love that you just love me and just show up. You can follow me to tell him. You know, it's awesome. And, but as I, um, so I mean, he had believed by the time of uh, his passing. You know, he was good with it. He could understand. And then he went through that process of you know, going from complete you now to believing, which is uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful sight when you see somebody's eyes go from to. To the, to the blinded, to the now, the, the, the fighting and the debating within themselves, to that, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, click, 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 and it's uh, the belief and the, the, the child, like, the regards to the night, the, the beauty of it that sets back in the eyes and the, the being and the, and the realization and that feeling of no, oh, I'm not alone, and, and wow, wow. It's a beautiful feeling. <clears throat> so, uh, I know what he did, but I was, that, I was yelling at him that day, and I went through my awakening, that's which is why I went through my awakening, um, is that I knew right there as so I stopped yelling, and I, I was like, no, there's nothing more for you to do right now, because he's like, I'm dying, I don't care what the fuck, shut up, he's like, because I'm annoying, because I talk, I just talk, 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 right? <laughs> and he's like, <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, like, a lot of people have found me, you know, you trust me, and I ride or die, I call them on all this shit. But, um, as I said, my Chinese horoscope, but I'm a pig, I have very few friends, but all solid. They're all solid now, everything, everybody has crossed my path this land one way or another, and I can see that now. Um, when I was yelling at him, I stopped in my tracks, and I knew for the first time, it was the very first time in my life that I knew, like, other than, you know, that I changed, like, I'm a kid's now, and they're, they're solid, like, it's all I love everything, so everything, those are true, thought of, you know, I mean, those are, those are devotions, but it was the first time ever in my life that, in any way, and I've excelled in everything, like, even when I went back to school, when I actually went back to school, I have told you that story earlier, um, I remember looking over at the brown, and then, you know, they looked down at me, because I was very, I was, I, you know, I hated myself, I hated the world, I was very within myself, I was scared of fear, like, I mean, you know, it's the epitome of everything that's ripped apart by this system that we think in the end, in the system, of well, systemized fucking lies, that I, that I felt that, and I lived it, and that it was so, it was imagination. It was somebody else's thoughts and imagination that was corrupted by it, the system that is conformed and actually built to ride or die these corruptions, because they know. They know what you are, and they know what I am, they know what, you know. And they are using it against us. They are not humane. They're not for us. They are not with us. And uh, therefore, a Robin Hood needs to happen. And the, the Trump needs to be able to finish draining the swamp. He needs to and uh, help us out become the aware of our divine birthrights. As <clears throat> people like I and Rogan and all the people that have you know, across the, uh, during, you know, that you cops, you're getting crossed because you're standing for all the wrong things, okay? You need to stand with civil, civilians as you serve them. You need to be a civil servant to help the greater good. That's what a cop is. It's not a cop, it's in a title of control. A civil servant is there to help. 
And even if that, my dear, means helping pick up the garbage or stop running your car. You don't need your car on go. Okay, stop polluting my planet just because you think you're in control and you can't. Okay, because I'd get a fine for that. In fact, I can't even afford my insurance because, God forbid, you know, out of the five years that I owe, five or seven years that I've driven, because I wasn't allowed to, you know, my relationship wasn't allowed to be me. But, um, I got in a couple of little, little, you know, no, never, I know I'm not allowed, you know, too, too, too bad, man. We don't need all these rules and regulations that some people thought up in their head because they were offended by something or they, oh my God, no, too bad. Tough love, baby. Yeah, you know, it's a survival of the fittest, and it's not even that, because we're all loving creatures. You just need to survive the fittest of your own fear and get over it. Like my mama said, suck it up, buttercup, and get her done. Uh, you just need to realize that uh, accountability of everything and transcendence and growth and unity. Uh, there's nothing that divides us. There's no bars. The only people that need to be beyond bars maybe should be also used with their own uh, intentional desire for their system of government, which would be um, Justin Trudeau. What was yours again? Didn't you just... Um, Oh yeah, all the guillotines that you were ordering and the concentration camps that you put up, like that you told people they're quarantine camps. Honey, honey, I don't think so. We have enough free land on this freaking, we have enough free land on earth, okay guys? That if we all separated, we all still have enough room to be separate and alive, okay? We don't need to be forced into confinement, into walls, which is with the, away from light. We need light. We need our bodies need light and vitamin K and D and all of the light. We are beings of light. Guys, in the morning, the first 30 seconds, 30 minutes, wake your ass up, okay, in the dark, and go out and look in the sun as it rises. Go look right into it. Your eyes have solar retina, okay? Your eyes are not what you think they are. They're not just you see, okay? They have solar retina in them, which goes into the pineal gland, and it actually gives us energy. And it, like, powers us up like a battery as we are light beings, our solar energy. We have the sun and the moon and the earth, right? We are of all the universe. We are star seed. We are star seed. We are golden. And we got to get ourselves back to the God. And the golden is the golden ages of uh, Nibiru and stuff like that, where uh, the actual truth of like how um, energy itself has been to, like you know consciously to started manifesting materialistic and matter in different dimensional energy, you know, like, or whatever, whether we're in a brain or a system or the universe, it's all one, and we all manifest it, manifest it, it's like the universe is within us, and that, uh, as above is so below, um, as, um, also the Lord's Prayer, what is that, um, it shall be done on earth as it is in heaven, see, it's because as heaven, and heaven is, they've made this, like, so says, you don't want to go to heaven, and it means 66 fucking wives, and everybody gets to be, like, a pedophile and a diddler, like, no, you don't want that depicted heaven that they made you they sold you on on every day of your life. Heaven? No. This is heaven. We are all within everything. Our soul is of the heaven, the spiritual realm of our real selves, our infinite, our infinite, our infinite multi-dimension. It's like, you know, that's the one dimension we get multi-dimensions within, but our soul is ever infinite, infinite or finite. See, it's either one or the other. It's, it's you know, go big or go home. It's you know we are and that is just it and it's been proven for too many times now and thus i tell you within the trust i know that my soul i know my past lives i know within myself i know i know i'm not my body i know i'm not my mind and i can separate all things with my own free thinking which you know you start teaching your kids how to curse it right and right okay because the indoctrination of them not being able to write or spell or be able to draw on a piece of paper or not how to cursively you know create their own self and desire of creation and um and beauty they are being put in front of a screen that is now totally just every 15 seconds popping up something new to tell you to tell you to. and you know who owns those companies the ones that get to pop up if you watch youtube long enough and a uh, republican or whatever the mainstream doesn't want you to see if you go on to it it'll keep trying to put you over on the stuff that they want you to watch Okay, Netflix does the same thing as they indoctrinate the just the knowledge of liberal and left. They want you to conform to what they want you to see. Netflix said anything that is behind without freeness, freedom of all, like of all theory and of all, 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 okay? All of the creativeness and all the imagination and all the truth should be all one. It's unity. There is no difference of reality and free, um, reality and irrelevant. Uh, Reality and uh, surreality, or whatever you know, fiction and nonfiction, as 
It is our own perception and dimension, because we can't even perceive as all the dimensions. They say we're in a multi-dimension. That means that those dimensions aren't from, like, different places. It's right around me, okay? So five dimensions is all the dimensions of different frequencies and densities of this right here, this now, like the, the angels and the frequencies, the gnomes and stuff that I just can't see are still right here. That's why we need to clean up the planet. It's not just us, like have respect for everything that you can and cannot see, right? You know, not just for yourself, for all the things that you can't even fathom, okay? Start fathoming that shit. Make it a reality of for your conscious effort of your, your, your footprint. It should be consciously efforted, your, the consciousness of what you don't know. We shouldn't be just riding our lives on what we know. Because trust me, I've found a lot lately that I, trust me, I ride or ride that I, I refuse to know. But even with my refusal of my knowledge, that solidarity, I, it is humanity. It is uh, everything we are searching for, guys. So if you just let it down, then yeah, let, let it be. Let these words really sink in the fact that you don't know and you've been blinded it's okay we're not we don't need to be offended that we don't know anything dude it is like war crime against humanity all of us and it's just because i've awakened and a lot of people are awakening and we're awakening into the fucking realization that wow you have stolen so many lifetimes you corrupt people that just want to slave us and use us for your own evil evil creations of <clears throat> traveling space of because they're stuck here on the planet, right, or whatever, and then, or whatever it is. Because we can astral travel, and, and we can actually travel space. Well, we're not within our body, our body's sleeping, or meditating, we can travel. We can go to all different places on Earth. We don't need to even, we can see all of the Earth, and with not even leaving our, this place right here. We are, we are that magical, like, we are that. We are the Harry Potter, it's in, you know, go through that wall, it's another truth, you know? And Matrix, and you know, it's all real. <clears throat> Your reality is surreal, and you know, your reality or your surreal is real. I mean, your imagination, your imagination, how we've been tricked on the, the actual, you know, what is real and real and not, and um, a lot of the things we live and know is not real. It's all imagination. It's been forced onto us through imaginative words of control. If you made the words of a doctor and like, you know, without words, every different... The Webster's Dictionary, the defined definitions, um, the, the words that have made you a name and put you in a system. Every word that we have allowed ourselves to believe is real. That's what we live by, the, is a book. We have been living and bound to a book, like words, which he's not showing up in court. Word is never going to show up because he doesn't exist. No matter how many words I write and I create and I put a definition on, even if I draw it out and I'm, you know, my creation of was depicting of like my imagination of the word, it still doesn't mean it's existence in reality. It's not conscious. Word's never going to show up to court and be bound to my fucking body. He is not of my soul. He's not of any dimension in me. He is not it. He does not exist. There is no word that is actually of real, not even your name. And no matter how much you guys want to fight about it, honestly, this is an eating hole. <clears throat>